Welcome back to Southern RV TV. I'm your host, Barry, and today we're in a slightly different location than normal because we've got a beast of a tiny RV to show you. We felt we needed to bring it to its natural environment. This is the Jayco J Feather Micro 166 FBS. So what is it that makes this J Feather Micro cool? Well, I'll tell you, it's got a few things going on for it that we haven't seen in some of our other brands. This is bigger than a Geo Pro, but it's smaller than one of our Rockwood Mini Lights. This is lifted, it's on Goodyear all-terrain tires, they're Goodyear Wranglers. This thing even has a rock rail running around the edges of it. Now that's gonna push off brush, it's going to act as a sacrificial piece so that when you are going out on like Forest Service Road or something along those lines, that's gonna take the brunt of the damage before anything else does on the camper. So that's kind of slick the way that it's set up. This does have a power tongue jack up front, and then we've got these nice big heavy duty BAL manual stabilizing jacks down low. There's no lack of storage on this unit. We have a nice big pass through right here. And then they've given us an extra refrigerator outside. That boosts us up to about 10 cubic feet of refrigerated space in here when you combine that with the internal fridge and freezer combo. Another really cool thing that they've done is they've given us this outside kitchen, so to speak, by providing you with a Blackstone griddle. This Blackstone griddle is pretty slick. I mean, I would use that in my house. It hooks straight into the side of this two inch receiver that's right here with a nice steel tube that comes out and holds it up and gives it support. There's a gas line right there as well. So you could potentially hook up another grill or something of that nature. This is a nice power awning. It's LED lit. It extends pretty far and runs almost the length of the trailer. They give us outside speakers so that when we are someplace fun, we can have our music and tunes rolling while we're flipping burgers out here. For the entry, they've given us the solid steps. Now this is the latest version of the solid steps. So instead of having the pin that releases and allows these steps to be adjusted for multiple terrains, it has a little side pull here, I'll pull it up and show you, so that these really quickly and easily adjust. You just push that in, give it a pull, and it goes in and out, just like that. As we push around to the back of the camper, one of the things that we notice is that we have a ladder running up to the back. It is pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. They have put in the rock guard down low, and they've given us a sewer tube that's hidden up under there for stashing your sewer hose. The spare tire is full size and it's mounted up nice and high for clearance issues. Pushing around onto the off door side, we do have an outdoor shower and you can see that this is equipped with a slide. Let's check out this ladder in a little more detail. So what makes this ladder cool, what separates it from the pack is the fact that it is pinned to this plate and they have a rail system that's up top. Because what Jayco has done here is they've given us a roof rack on top of it so that you can carry a kayak or some bikes or things of that nature. And this ladder makes accessing that roof rack a little bit easier by moving around. So it's lightweight, it's aluminum, it simply pops off. And as you can see, it's got some hooks at the tip that slot into that rail system and a padded spot to push up against the camper. So what that gives us is the ability to get up to that roof rack with relative ease. All you have to do is hook it in like so. And then when this drops down, now it's padded and pushing up against the sidewall of the camper. That's gonna allow us to climb up and down and get to that roof rack. As you can see, the ladder hooks on pretty easily and gives us direct access to this Thule roof rack. 
We can also option this with a solar panel package so that you can truly have some off-grid 12 volt fun. When we step up inside the 166 FBS, we realize this rugged little camper actually has a pretty lavish inside. So as soon as I come through the door, we have some storage to my left in the form of a couple of deep closets here. Now that had, could have a hanging rod up there if you wanted to, so you could make that into an official closet. We have a Furion fridge. This is a 12 volt system. And it's got a decent sized freezer up top as well. The bathroom sandwiched in the back corner over here. This is a good sized shower for something this small. We're used to seeing wet baths in units this little, but that has the sink, the toilet, and the shower all in that one little room there. So you don't even have to step out and wash your hands at the kitchen sink like we see in other comparable units of this size. The kitchen is actually pretty well equipped. So we have a three burner stove from Furion here. There is an option, I believe there's an optional oven for this, but what we've got here is just some drawers. It's better to have storage anyway in a lot of these cases. High point microwave up top, extra storage off to the side. Our sink is not huge, but hey, it works. It's a single basin. It's got a nice high faucet, I like that, so you can still get pots and pans up under there. They've given us a cutting board cover and that's gonna extend our countertop a little bit in addition to acting as a cutting board. More storage down below, and then as we push towards the front, we have our entertainment center on the other side of the kitchen. Now this is directly across from our sofa, and this sofa is in a slide. So that's kind of cool that having this slide, even though it's small, it really opens up the floor space for us and makes it feel spacious at the end of the day. I think I've said it before, I'm six foot three and I have plenty of headroom in here. I can even clear under the air conditioner without hitting my head. So that makes it feel nice and big in here. It has a fantastic fan up top. These things are really great. If we open up the windows and turn that on, it can truly circulate a lot of air through here. So if you're boondocking on a 12 volt system and the weather is nice, it's gonna be great to have that thing running and just circulating the air through the camper. The entertainment center itself is also 12 volt. This is kind of this crazy all-in-one Furion system. So they have the sound bar built into the TV and then they've given us this latch here that pops out and it swings open and we can see that there's storage in behind it. Inside that storage right now, there's a couple of tables that hook directly into the sofa and allow for some eating or sitting and working. Behind me is the main bed. This is about a queen sized, roughly. It has a little power port here at the end that lifts up and out. And if you did have friends over, and they're sleeping in here because this couch does lay flat, you can, you can essentially have a little bit of privacy by the way of being given this shade. So this is Velcroed together. Let's get that undone. There it goes. And this slides out and over, pretty slick. And that's all because this can lay flat and become a bed for guests. That's pretty slick as well. Notice behind here, we have a table. It's a folding table, so this just is gonna give us a spot to sit down and eat. We can put it at the front of the couch. Let's sit that back up for you real quick. Setting it up right here would make it nice and easy to have a meal. And one other thing that they've given us this pretty cool, let me open this back up so we get a little more light back here is they've given us some extra storage in the form of these hutches. There's two of them that come out. They lift up as hinged. It's nice and felt lined on the inside. It's a deep little box, but it's also padded up top. So that does two things for you. It's gonna give you a spot to put your feet up at the end of the day. Or again, if you did have some folks up here visiting with you and everybody's sitting at that table having a quick meal at the end of the day, it gives you a spot to sit down. So, this thing is just loaded with all kinds of great little hidden features. I hope you guys really enjoy this brief tour of it. You wanna come see it for yourself in person for sure. 
It's at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. You can also visit us online at southernrv.com. Give us a call if you have any questions at 770-477-0552. Until next time, happy RVing. I think we're under something good.